when you started the band or when the band was started, one of the motivations was uh, when your father passed away. That's right. Now, obviously, the, the losing any parent at any time is horribly difficult. But but did it kind of prepare you in a sense for for when your mother passed, or did did was was the the sentiment different or the feeling different? Uh, the feeling was very different because my dad died suddenly of a heart attack. And so it was a surprise. It was a shock to the family. And my mom never really quite recovered from the grief. And I feel like that might have exacerbated her uh, Alzheimer's. And she had Alzheimer's for pretty much the length of the band since the band started. And it gets progressively worse. And, uh, and so her death was not unexpected it was also kind of sudden but it was tinged with uh, a relief that her suffering was finally over whereas my dad it was like oh he had so much more to give mom had given a lot in her life and it was i'm glad she had a peaceful passing but uh yeah it was different emotions it was um you know it was more just about where i, I think i did wallow in my dad's death for years uh this one was pretty quick to come to the understanding that you know life goes on and your parents don't want you to uh you know wallow in misery for your rest of your life just because they died you know yeah so. i wrote the line down from uh grafton uh Ho Ho Hoyt. um she wants me to try and find happiness uh in a cloudy sky so so mm. is that kind of that that idea of 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 I, I, pretty much the encompassing idea of the album of, of life is difficult, but we've got to move on. Right. <clears throat> like I'm a very, uh, I can, I can be very focused on dying and, and worried about life. And that comes through in the lyrics, which I think a lot of people relate to and understand. But I also feel like if, if that was the only lesson I got from my mother's life was that like life is, short we're all going to die slow painful deaths then that would be kind of mocking i think my mom's life in a lot of ways because she was such an up happy person and could talk to anybody and so you yes it's you you have to decide if you're going to honor the person you have to decide to try to live with what they taught you you know because i i do find you know i still want to talk about depressing uh, topics and stuff but i don't I do realize now that a lot of that is just as navel gazing and self-centered as uh, talking about how great you are or how wonderful things are, you know, so there's gotta be a balance somewhere. You know? What did your mother think of the band? And then obviously I don't know in what stages of her, her Alzheimer's she was, but, but did she kind of listen to a couple of songs or? Our friend Larry uh, took her to one of our earlier shows at the Logger House. And it was like the first time she'd been in a bar in, in years. And it was at the early stages where she was still, you could still talk to her and things, but she wouldn't quite know what was going on. And near the beginning of the band, I'd be like, well, mom, I have to go down on tour. I'm going to go sing. And she'd be like, you sing? It was, it was probably a shock to her, even if she had a, so it was always kind of a remind, like, oh, I'm, I have to go, you know, and so. She had a vague understanding of it at the end. I think she was just happy that I was getting out of the house. I think at the beginning, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. 